MLB The Show has decided to make the game fun for the last remaining weeks of MLB The Show 23. Many of you may already know that they have boosted the team captains for each individual team to a, a massive amount of attribute points that they already had in their tier 3 boost. And a lot of you already know that MLB The Show 24 is already around the corner. So, in this video I'm going to go through every single MLB captain for each team and show you who has the best boost and who possibly ranks among the best theme teams among MLB teams and MLB The Show 23. If you want to skip ahead to your favorite team or a certain player, feel free to do so on the timeline down below in this video with the chapters to skip ahead to your team. And in case you didn't know, the best way to find a captain is to just make the max overall 95 overall because all the captains are 95 or below and then go to the team, all right? And then you'll find uh, a couple different captains. Now, this captain boost that they SDS has improved for all captains is only for tier, or I'm sorry, for only for sets four and five. So any captain from set one to three didn't get the massive overhaul attribute boost that SDS just updated. So it's only four and five, which is kind of a bummer because there are some really good set three captains, but nonetheless, we'll go through set four and five. Now you should know by now that when you boost a player with a captain, and this is a tier three boost, you're not gonna see the boost on their player card but you will see it on their player attribute wheel there in the middle of the screen you see. All right, so the Orioles captain, Brian Roberts, his tier three boost is now 25 contact against righties, 20 batting clutch, 15 speed, and 10 power versus righties. Once we activate the captain, we can go to select boosted by captain, and it will just show you all the cards that can be boosted by Brian Roberts. The unfortunate thing is we cannot use the 99 overall Brian Roberts, and that does come into play with a lot of teams as you cannot use their good 99 overall card if they have a 95 overall captain card. The Orioles are pretty stacked. I think they would make my top 10 for theme teams. Now with that Brian Roberts insane captain boost, you're gonna get to boost Eddie Murray. Um, so you see he has 125 contact on both sides, 115 power, 109 power, 109 vision. You can change his team however you want. Some of you might not put Brooks Robinson at second. You might put Jackson Holiday there. Um, you might put Gunnar Henderson at first if you want him there and Eddie Murray in the DH spot. So you can move these players around whichever way you want. I personally, I would like to have Jackson Holiday go in the DH spot for Brian Roberts. Some of these captains will get a nice boost for themselves, so you don't have to take them out. Uh, but most of them you do want to take out for someone on the bench. That's better. All right. Harold Baines for me, even though his fielding's not good, I think his swing is just too good. Um, personally, I like it a lot to leave out of this lineup. So he will be in the outfield and left field. You got Machado, Cedric Mullins. Um, Anthony Satander, really good switch hitter. He's he's touching 110 over everything in the hitting attributes except for vision. And uh, Adley Rutschman becomes uh, insane as well. He was already really good. Um, his contact goes up a little bit. Um, what else does he give? Power. The 15 speed is really nice. All right, so Adley Rutschman, normally 68 speed is not bad for a catcher. Now he's got 83. Eddie Murray was pretty slow before this as well. Uh, so you got 72 speed on him now, 66 speed on Anthony Santander, max speed for Cedric Mullins, um, 66 for Harold Baines, and 73 for Manny Machado. So it makes a somewhat slow team uh, a little bit faster, you know, with the exception of Gunner and Cedric, who were fast to begin with. And then the bench guys, you got Jackson Holiday. There's his wheel there on the right. Eric Davis, who you could opt to do someone like Jonathan Scoop, Austin Hayes, who has a nice righty swing. Ryan Malcastle has a decent right-handed swing, and Cal Ripken Jr., I went with Eric Davis for the speed off the bench. Like I said, you can personalize this however which way you want. And then you got another switch hitter in Aaron Hicks and Jorge Mateo, who is a speed threat and can bunt if you want to play that way. All right, the pitching captain is Felix Bautista. So you cannot use the 99 overall Felix Bautista, which kind of stinks. But uh, this one's going to give 25K per nine, 25 hits per nine, and 20 pitching clutch. When I go through this video, you will notice that mostly all of the pitching captains, whether they're in the bullpen or the starting rotation, are going to give the same type of boost. It's usually hits per nine, walk per nine, K per nine, and clutch. Uh, there's very few captains that give a boost outside of those attributes. All right, so Felix Bautista is going to give a boost to one of my favorite bullpen arms, Zach Britton, and his K per nine and hits per nine are now maxed out. Uh, Yanir Cano is maxed out and hits per nine, K per nine. Same with Tyler Wells, Sionel Perez, and then I just stopped it there. You only need eight, sorry, nine pitchers from the Orioles on the squad to get the tier three boost. And the 
hitting captain Brian Roberts, you only need eight hitters, which is nice. Some of the set one, two, and three captains, you need like 11 hitters, which, you know, forces you to put some people on your team you might not want to put on your team if you want to use like an all-time Orioles team, meaning you're using cards that played for the Orioles at one point, but uh, don't have an Orioles card. Um, there's some pretty good cards that are players that don't have cards for a certain team. All right, the Red Sox are a pretty good team. Uh, they don't have the 99 Johnny Damon. Uh, they don't have the 99 Babe Ruth. So, like I said, since the captains, um, Mike Napoli only requires nine hitters for the Tier 3 boost. You know, you don't need all 14 hitters to be Red Sox players. You could put the Yankees Babe Ruth here. You could put the Yankees Wade Boggs on this team and the Yankees Johnny Damon. Seems like they gave uh, the Yankees all the good cards that used to play for the Red Sox this year. However, this team's still good without those cards. Uh, Mike Napoli gives a very good boost here. It's 25 contact to the left side and then 20 power against righties, 15 power against lefties, and 20 batting clutch. So I put him in the DH so that I could put Christian Vasquez behind the dish. He's just a much better fielder, and I think fielding is pretty important at the catcher position in this game, um, especially when it comes to blocking. He's got 85 blocking. Napoli, it actually doesn't show his rating there. I don't think it's that great, though. And then you got Devers, who becomes like maxed everything right now with 1-0 vision. Uh, this BR reward, I think it was BR reward, Marcelo Mir. For whatever reason, his wheel is not coming up. But here's his attributes. You can just kind of imagine what 20 contact against the left and 20, 15 power against lefties would do to this to make it pretty much maxed out and everything except for vision. All right. I opted for Trevor Story at second base. You could go Mookie Betts at second. You could go this Xander Bogarts card, which I really like at second base or shortstop. Um, you got Kevin Euclid, who is a really good fielder that can also play right field. And if you want to put him at first so that you can put, or sorry, you want to put him in right so you can put Big Poppy at first base, you can do that as well. So a lot of options with this team, a lot of moving around you can do, which I really like. You got Jim Rice in left field. His wheel looks pretty good. I don't know how people feel about a swing, but that's a really good card on paper. Mookie becomes 125 everything <laughs> except for the 106 vision. So this card is um, unbeatable pretty much with, with the captain boost. He's got a good swing, obviously. Now, the other reason I want to show you this, uh, if I take off the pitcher boost, which is Cy Young, and I'll put it back on, I put this Babe Ruth here. Oh, I'll put him here again. You see that he's not boosted by the captain. He is a primary starting pitcher. So if there's a two-way player and their primary position is starting pitcher, they will not get the hitting captain boost. They will only get the pitching captain boost. So I put him there just to show you that. Um, but since he doesn't get the boost, he's not that great to begin with. I would take him out for someone else. Hey, and since there's only like some 99s or some 97s and 199 left on the bench, you know, you can go with anybody here. I'll go with Johnny Damon. Um, the pitching boost. Or sorry, let me get through the rest of the bench. You got JD Martinez, Jason Bay. Uh, they have low vision, but great power. And I don't think I missed anybody else. Now, the pitching captain, Cy Young. The good thing about this is the 99 overall Cy Young is really not that good. <laughs> so we're using the captain spot on him which is good so he gives 25 pitching clutch 25 walks per nine 15 stamina and 10 hits per nine all right he gives four attribute boosts the little boost arrow is not showing up so that's concerning me oh there it is uh i don't have the 99 pedro so i just put the 97 here but you can imagine what the 99 overall pedro martinez would look like with that boost um he's already good enough to begin with you got chris sale 99 overall brian bello and uh, anyway, Nick Pavetta, uh, this good 90, 99 Kenley Jansen uh, from the 400 Save Club milestone. John Schreiber and Garrett Whitlock. You got Joe Jaquise and 89 overall Nathan Avaldi. All right, you don't need all of these guys. You only need eight pitchers, and we currently have 10. So you could take two of those bullpen guys out if you want. All right, on to the next team. All right, the Yankees. These would probably... This would get close to my top five teams, I think, in the ratings. I uh, used them a couple of times. They're pretty good. It's going to be Lou Gehrig. You only need eight hitters from the Yankees on the squad to get the Tier 3 boost. He gives 20 contact against righties, 20 contact against lefties. Sorry, 25 against righties, 20 against lefties. 15 batting clutch, 10 power against righties, 
and I would replace him with Babe Ruth in the DH spot when the lineup starts or when the game starts. Another thing about this team, if you don't have, I'm sorry, assuming you have the Commerce Comet, the Chase Pack Mickey Mantle card, you put him in center field. If you don't, I would put Grandy Man in center field and maybe put Anthony Volpe or uh, Giancarlo Stanton down there on the bench for him. So I would put Babe Ruth in the DH spot. Uh, Jorge Posada behind the dish. He's got max contact now and it's 78 vision's not great, but the boost does help him. Don Mattingly at first base, and he can play left or right field, I believe, too. So you can put him out there if you want. I like this card's swing. Uh, he's got max contact, max vision already, and now he's got even more power against righties and lefties. Um, Glaber Torres at second, pretty obvious. He's pretty cracked. He's got max contact, almost max power, and 119 vision, so almost max everything in the hitting column with this boost. Derek Jeter, he's got 103 and 104 pop now. He already had max contact. Um, pretty much max speed, max fielding, 108 vision. This card's pretty unstoppable as well. Wade Boggs has a really good lefty swing. I think he hits lefties uh, pretty well, regardless of his little bat waggle or hunched over stance. I think this card is worth giving a shot if you haven't tried him out yet. Now he's got 124 power against righties. He already had 125 vision, and he's got max contact. He, had, he, he already had that as well. Johnny Damon, left field. Hopefully you have this card. It's pretty good. He's got max contact and max vision, which helps a lot. And now he's got 121 power against righties. And um, he's already got pretty decent fielding for a Johnny Damon card. 82 speed, 85 stealing. Uh, this card will surprise you for sure. All right. Chase Pack, Reggie Jackson. If you don't have him, you can move Grandy to right and then move the outfield around a little bit. Maybe put Babe Ruth out there or Judge or Stanton. Uh, but you got Reggie Jackson there, who's almost maxed everything, and then 95 vision. All right. On the bench, you got Gary Sanchez, Aaron Judge, uh, Babe Ruth for the DH, and then Giancarlo Stanton. And like I said, you have these guys on the bench to work with as well. Pitching is going to be Mike Messina. All right. There's no 99 Mike Messina for the Yankees, at least. So he's going to give 22, sorry, 25 walks per nine, 20 stamina, 20K per nine, and 15 hits per nine. He can give a boost to either the, the finest Garrett Cole or this incognito card from set two, which is Shek G. And then you got 99 Whitey Ford, 99 Domingo Herman, and 99 monthly awards Michael King. There is a good David Robertson in the marketplace at the signature series. I don't have it, so I have this one here instead, but the bullpen looks pretty good as well. You have Mariano Rivera, Rich Gossage, Clay Holmes, this um, two-way Isaiah Kiner-Falefa card, who I guess it's not two-way. says it's only a relief pitcher, and he has no secondary position. Anyway, he can kind of hit the ball. Um, you got World Baseball Classic Jonathan Loisica, who I think actually has another card. And then you could put the Orioles, Zach Britton, in here um, instead of the Yankees one because you only need nine pitchers. All right, the Rays have a really interesting team boost from Randy Reza Arena. He's got uh, a vision boost here, right? No, he doesn't. Never mind. I misspoken. That's another team I'm thinking of. But this is still pretty good. It's 25 contact against righties, 20 power against lefties, so kind of a reverse split there. And then 15 batting clutch, 15 speed. This team, for me, was really hard to figure out where to put everyone and move them around. Um, so if you want it, you know, you could uh, put the Yankees, Wade Boggs here, um, and a couple of other cards that don't actually have raised cards. But it's unfortunate that Evan Longoria can only play third base, but that's probably where you want him. He's the best third baseman on this team, I think. And then in the outfield, it's a little tricky, right? You, you can't use the 99 Arozarena. Um, you could put this one out there, but I think I would leave him in the DH spot to take him out. So I got G-Money, G-Man Choi in left field, who's primarily first base, but he's got the secondary left field. Kevin Kiermaier plays a great center field. His hitting attributes, even with this boost, still aren't that great. It's a 94 overall card, so you can't really expect them to be too, too boosted, you know. Josh Lau in right field, that's a good card. Yandy Diaz at first is a good card. Isaac Paredes at second is a good card. And then you have to use Taylor Walls at shortstop because um, if you don't, I have questions for you. Unless you're using this Oslevis base. Uh, 
I'm not even going to entertain that. Um, Taylor Walls is your best option, short side. Mike Zanino, a catcher, has maxed everything except for vision, which is pretty bad at 64. But he's a decent enough catcher. Some of these teams don't really have good catchers, so uh, you get what you get. Carlos Pena, I would put in the DH spot for a Rosarina. He looks pretty good here. Luke Rayleigh, 95 overall. Brandon Laos, 96 overall. You could use the Texas Rangers card if you wanted, and then Wade Box. Okay, here's your other options. You got Vidal Brujan, who's a 94 overall future star, switch hitter. Um, he had a better card last year, I think. And you got Brett Phillips and some other guys. Pitching is going to be Tyler Glass now, 25K per nine, 25 hits per nine, and 10 pitching clutch. He's going to give a boost to Shane McClanahan. Not great. Charlie Morton, not great. Um, this whole starting pitching staff's not really anything to write home about, but you got... Drew Rossman here too, and Jeffrey Springs. In the bullpen, it's a little bit better. You got Robert Stevenson, Zach Littell, Jake Diekman, Pete Fairbank, Peter Fairbanks, and then uh, Sean Armstrong. And then a couple of other low-end ones like the captain, Andrew Kittredge, Nick Anderson, and Braden Bistro. Sorry, Bristo. Okay. All right, the Blue Jays. This team's pretty good. Uh, one of my favorite cards from a boost, and probably the, one of the best cards you'll ever see with a boost, is Boba Shett. Almost maxed everything in the hitting attributes, including vision. He has 125 contact, 110 power against righties, 125 against lefties, and 125 vision. Almost max fielding, 68 speed, 77 stealing. He gets a boost from Joe Carter. So that's going to be 25 contact against lefties, 20 plate vision, 20 batting clutch, and 15 power against lefties. Okay. I would take Joe Carter out for one of these guys, probably Alejandro Kirk. Oh, I'm sorry. Probably Matt Chapman. But you also got Santiago Espinal, Troy Gloss, and you can even use this 97 overall George Springer, um, either one of these. I think this Charisma series is actually better. But then you got like Kevin Biggio on the bench if you want it, and a couple of other guys. Um, John Donaldson, sorry, Josh Donaldson, bringer of rain on the left there at third base. You look at his wheel in the middle there. It's stacked all the way around and 114 vision helps a lot. I would put Carlos Delgado at catcher. Um, you can put him in left if you want and you could put, you could do a couple of things with this team. So you could put Kirk behind the dish if you want it and put Teoscar Hernandez on the bench. And Delgado on left, or you could put Delgado at first, so then you put Vlad Jr. at left. But I think you got to have this Vlad Jr. card in there. I think you got to have Donaldson in there. Um, I think they're both really good cards. And Boba Shett. So I really wouldn't change these three guys, shortstop, third, and first. Um, I like Carlos Delgado personally. I know Kirk's not bad, but we're going to go ahead and put him there. Um... Now, again, your center fielder, just like the Rays, is going to be Kevin Kiermaier. Uh, he's a really good fielder, so you can put him in left in order to put Santiago Espinol uh, in center. Not as good at fielding, but there he is. And then you got Sean Green in right field. I really like this card. He's got max contact, 115 power, 123 power, and 120 vision. Another stacked card, almost pretty much as good as you can get with a boost. All right, and then Whit Merrifield at second base. You can move these guys around however which way you want. Pitching is going to be Marcus Stroman set 5 to 25 uh, walks per 9, 25 pitching clutch, and 15 hits per 9. You only need 8 pitchers from the squad here, so you got Roy Halladay if you got him. I think he's somewhat cheap on the marketplace now. He's under 30,000, or actually he's only like 12,000 right now. Um, so that's going to be your best pitcher by far, Kevin Gosman. Uh, Yusei Kikuchi is not bad, but he's 97 overall. And then Jose Barrios, 97 overall right here as well. In the bullpen, you got Tom Henke, Tim Meza, pretty good arm here, uh, Eric Swanson, Jordan Romano, and then Ken Giles, just some options here, Nick Anderson. No, sorry, that's the Rays. Um, and then that's pretty much it for your diamond pitchers. All right, on to the White Sox. We are now in the AL Central, and please send this team your prayers. This team is not very good, even with the captain boost. The captain is Mini Minoso, so you cannot use his Incognito Series 99 overall uh, card, which is the Cuban Comet, I believe. Cuban Comet, yeah. Uh, 25 contact against righties, 25 contact against lefties is very good boost. 20 batting clutch, 10 power against righties. I don't have the Incognito Frank Thomas from set two, 
But if you do have him, you can put him at first. Unfortunately, he does not have a secondary position. But this Paul Konerka is very good. He's a better fielder. He's got max everything in the hitting columns, except for 102 Vision, which is still really good. So this is a great card on this team. One of the best, I think. Um, I like this 97 overall Harold Baines. Like I said before, I really like his swing. His Orioles card is obviously better, but this one's still not bad. And with a boost, it makes it that much better. He's only deficient in the 85 power. Luis Robert has 125 everything and then 71 vision. And the worst part about this card is the 87 clutch. So I think this boost will give him um, 107 clutch. So this card becomes a lot better. All right. If you can use his swing and you like him, this might be the best card on the team for you then. Eloy Jimenez in left field. He's got max contacts, almost max power, 92 vision. Not bad, but he's a really bad fielder. But I think you got to have him out there. Uh, Luis Aprecio at shortstop. Max contact, uh, max vision, speed, and fielding. Not a lot of pop. Yo Mankata, I think there's a 97, 99 overall yo-yo, but that might be a 97 now that I think about it. Uh, I can't remember. But if you have that 99 yo-yo card, you can use them there. Um, good switch hitter with max contact, 90 vision, and over 100 pop on both sides. You could leave Mini Minoso in the DH spot. It's actually not bad. I think if you have Frank Thomas, you put him there, obviously. But he's got max contact, 100 vision, 90 and 79 pop. So, you know, you might consider leaving him there if you want to use this team. Um, behind the dish, I got this 94 overall Yasmani, who looks pretty good hitting-wise, except for the vision. And then some other guys on the bench. Jose Abreu, Andrew Vaughn, Frank Thomas, and um, this future star card. Colson Montgomery. Pitching is going to be Jose Quintana. Um, eight pitchers in the squad. He's going to give 25 walks per nine, 15K per nine, 15 stamina, and 15 hits per nine. Dylan Cease, Lucas Giolito, Carlos Rodon, live series Mike Clevenger. Like I said, please sing your prayers and send help to this team. The pitching staff is awful. Um, your best starting pitcher is 99 or 97 overall, Dylan Cease, unless there's a 99 I'm completely forgetting about, and there might be. Um, in the bullpen, it doesn't get much better. You got Gregory Santos, Topps Nell, Garrett Crochet, and Liam Hendricks. All right, and there's a Goose Gossage, and that's it. The Indians are a team I like, so if I use this team, I may actually consider only using the nine hitters that's required for Tier 3 from Grady Sizemore. And what that is, is 25 contact against righties, 25 power against lefties, 20 fielding ability, and 10 power against righties. Um, what I would do is probably take out the 97s like Lindor, Andres Jimenez, and David Justice and put in some other cards that have played for the Indians. Uh, so, I'm um, excuse me. Use some other cards that have played for the Guardians and uh, put them... You know, I'm trying to think who I could use here. I don't think there's a 99. No, there is a Justice for the Braves, 99 overall. You could put him out there. You could put Josh Naylor in right field if you want it. A um, couple of things you could do. But that captain boost is really good, and Carlos Santana becomes unbelievable in, in this boost. Max everything, 125s. All around that wheel looks so nice. And then the 115 vision to top it off is like a cherry on top, man. Um, that card is really good. Jose Ramirez, 119 vision. Max pop. 125 contact, 107 contact. Really good fielder. Put him at third, put him at short, put him at second, put him in left. Uh, it's up to you. All right, I like him at third here and leave everything the way it was. Larry Doby in center field is really good too. Um, I think it's a bit of an underrated card or an underused one at least. Max contact against righties, 116 against lefties. Max pop against righties, 105 against left, 113 vision, 99 fielding. 65 speed hurts him a little bit in center field, but it's not bad. Steven Kwan in left field. I think he's got a pretty decent swing. This boost gives him more pops, and now he's got 95 power and 103 power versus the 85 and 78 that he was starting out with. So this card becomes a lot better with the boost. And as you, as you go through more of these teams, you'll notice some of these players don't really benefit from the boost that much. Um, but, you know, Steven Kwan's a good example of one, someone who does. So that may deter your decision of who you put on the team. 97 overall, Francisco Lindor. I may swap him out with the Mets Lindor if I were to use this team. Um, but here is the 97 with the boost. On the bench, you've got Jose Tina Tena. Um, I would put the Twins Jim Tomey on the bench here instead of this 92 overall. Framil Reyes and 
Boone Naylor, Josh Naylor's brother. Pitching is Emmanuel Classe. All right, so if you want the boost, you can't use the 99 Classe. Got to use tier three, but he's still got outlier, so it's fine. 25 pitching clutch, 20 hits per nine, 15 walks per nine. All right, so he's going to boost himself here too. And baseline stats for a 95 overall card are really good actually here. So you don't have to worry about not using the 99. Um, he gives a boost to Sam Hintis, uh, Re Reynaldo Lopez, and Brad Hand. Not a deep bullpen, but you got some guys here to make the boost happen. Corey Kluber, starting pitching, great card. Bob Feller, really good card in my opinion. Tristan McKenzie, not that great, even though he's a 99. And uh, Carlos Carrasco, I went with Cliff Lee here. You could go with Aaron uh, Savale. Is it Cavale or Savale? Can't remember. Tanner Beebe and Shane Bieber are right here as well, if you want to use them. All right, on to the Tigers. Now, I'm going to start with the pitching for this one because it hurts me a little bit. The 99 Eduardo Rodriguez is not usable because the captain is Erod. And um, I think that 99 overall card is pretty underrated, pretty good. So it sucks you can't use him. But the captain is going to give 25 hits per nine, 25 pitching clutch, and 20 walks per nine. You still get to use Justin Verlander. Still get to use Tariq Skubal, whether it's this one or the set two Tariq Skubal. Uh, you got Reese Olsen, Michael Lorenzen, and then some other guys here if you want to swap them out. All right. Bullpen, not too deep. You got Will Best, 94 overall, Gregory Soto. Sorry, 95. Um, I think he plays above as a tribute here, so this is a decent card. Andrew Chafin, and then a World Baseball Classic card, uh, 78 overall. Hitting captain is Spencer Torkelson. I don't think he got a 99, so this is fine. You got 25 power against righties. Excuse me, 20 contact against lefties. 15 contact against righties. Um... You can move these guys around if you want. There's two Al K lines. I think this Roberto Clemente program Al K line is better. Um, he's a good fielder, so I put him in right field. You got Curtis Granderson in center. Their wheels aren't looking too good, even with the boost. So this team, I would say, is not too strong. Kerry Carpenter in right or left field. Um, you could swap these guys if you want to have Kerry Carpenter's field and get a little bit better. I can't remember if him or Riley Green have a good swing. I think it's Riley Green that has a better swing than Kerry Carpenter. But uh, if you want the better attributes, you put Carpenter out there. You got Tony Clark at first. His wheel looks pretty good with 87 vision. That's okay. Um, Pudge Rodriguez, max contact, or sorry, max power, 105 vision and 105 contact against righties, 118 contact against lefties. He is going to be your catcher. Miggy looks stacked here, max everything almost, but he's got 114 power against lefties and 102 vision at third base. All right, and then Alan Trammell, max contact, 110 vision, great fielder, decent speed. Um, some people don't like his stance. He's still got a quick swing, believe it or not, uh, but you're going to have to put him there. So 112 power, 94 power. On the bench, like I said, you either got Kerry Carpenter or Riley Green. Andy Ibanez, uh, top snail Parker Meadows, and Jace Jung, the future stars. Okay, Kansas City Royals. This team is a little disappointing as well because the captain is 95 overall, Bobby Witt Jr., so you cannot use his 99 overall guard. So um, there's that. Now, his captain boost isn't bad, though. Uh, it's going to give 25 batting clutch, 20 power against lefties, 20 speed, which is really nice, and 15 contact against righties. Although this card or these cards on this team aren't that great to begin with, with the exception of a couple. Um, so... Alex Gordon in center field, I think, is your best option, primarily left field, but he can also play first, third, center, and right. Um, so I put him in center field. I think that's the best option. And his wheel looks pretty good. Mike Mustak is at first base. Really like this card. Um, every time I faced him, someone else using him, I got rocked. And every time I use him, I seem to do pretty okay with him as well. So he's got max power, 112 vision. A really good lefty swing with a nice open stance so you can see lefty hitter or pitchers as well. And um, yeah, I like him there. Hunter Dozier in right field. You can swap him out with someone else if you like. I got this Samad Taylor at second. George Brett, great card. Max contact, max vision. And now he's got 101 pop and 117 pop. And Salvador Perez at catcher. I left Bobby Witt shortstop because he's the best fielder there. And he's a pretty balanced hitter with his own boost, so you kind of have to put him in there. 
got Eric Hosmer in the DH spot, but you could put someone else there, such as Future Stars, Michael Garcia, uh, this World Baseball Classic, Robbie Glendening. A lot of people remember him. You could swap him out with Nicky Lopez as well, who has a nice lefty swing, or Nick Lofton or Nelson Velasquez. Pitching is, uh, it's, it's god awful. Danny Duffy's the captain with 25 pitching clutch, 20 hits per nine, and 15K per nine. Not a single 99 card to their name, except for James and MacArthur. So I misspoken in the bullpen. Uh, you got Brett Saberhagen. And maybe there's a 99 I'm forgetting about that got lost in set one or two um, from the Royals, but I don't have them. And then you got Cole Reagans, Zach Grinke, and then a bronze overall. James MacArthur in the bullpen is your best pitcher, like I said. Greg Holland, Austin Cox, Carlos Hernandez. Not much to talk about here. All right, so that's the Royals. All right, the Minnesota Twins are actually a really fun team to use. They got an interesting team here. A lot of uh, diverse set of attributes and skills and swings, all that stuff. Some really fun cards here. One of my favorites is Miguel Sano, uh, kind of a sleeper card. I didn't really discover him until later. But he, he hits bombs. Um, he's fun to use. Decent swing. Not a great fielder, but I got him in a third base. Maxed out everything hitting except for 85 vision. All right. And then I got Farm Dog at shortstop, who you could put Carlos Correa here if you want it. Um, you could put this 84 gold Eduardo Escobar there. You could put 97 overall Willie Castro. It's not a bad option at all. Um, 94 overall Nick Gordon. So there's a lot of things you can do with this team. All right. I got Rock Crew at second. Um, Max contact, funny looking stance, but he's got a good swing. Max vision and 96 pop, 73 pop. All right. I forgot to show you the boost. Justin Morneau. Unfortunately, you can't use the 99 Morneau. And that card, it's, I really like that card too. So it's a bit of a bummer, but you got 25 contact against righties, 15 contact against lefties, 20 batting clutch, 10 power against righties. Joe Maurer behind the dish, one of the best cards already in the game. He's got max contact, 110 vision, um, 125 pop against righties, 102 pop against lefties, one of the best catchers fielding-wise. So there, you know, he is in 74 speed. Jose Miranda at first base. You could do Jim Tomey. Um, you could do Harmon Killebrew. And I think there's a 99 Killebrew that you could put there. I like, I like having J Jose Miranda here because he's got 118 vision. Um, 125 pop against lefties, 102 against righties, and almost max contact. All right. I think the vision with Jim Tomey is too low at 76. I think Carmen Killebrew has too long of a swing. So that's why I got them on the bench instead. Um, farm dog at shortstop, like I said. Royce Lewis in left field. He's got max contact, almost max pop, except for the 100 against lefties and an 80 vision. Byron Buxton. I don't know why this card got shit on when it came out from the world series reward um i like it i like it a lot so now he's got 122 contact or almost max contact which was up from 97 against righties i think that's why i got bashed a little bit he's got 81 vision not terrific and 100 clutch so that was kind of weird to see but um it's still a good card he's got max power and does this give a clutch boost yeah 20 batting clutch so he now has 120 clutch and like max everything else. Already great fielding and good speed. Max Kepler in right field. And um, you could put Tori Honor out there if you want it. And then some of these other guys on the bench are pretty notable as well. Eduardo Julian. I said Willie Castro and uh, Carlos Correa as well. All right. Pitching. Um, the captain is Johan Duran. And he... Still has an outlier, two outliers on this captain card. And he's going to give 25 hits per nine, 25K per nine, and 20 pitching clutch. Um, still usable. All right, so you don't have to worry about the 99 not being usable here. Joe Nathan, Chris Paddock, Brock Stewart. I like this card a lot. And Trevor May. Okay. All right, the Astros are a really solid team. Jordan Alvarez is the captain, so you can't use the 99 Jordan. But you got 25 contact to both sides and 10 power against righties. Only three groups of tributes are being boosted here. Um, only need eight hitters. So I'm going with Carlos Correa at shortstop. There's his wheel, Jose Altuve at second base. Uh, you could do Craig Biggio there, but I got him behind the dish. Um, so this card's awesome. Jeff Bagwell at first base. I'm actually going to change him out for Jose Abreu. 
I like that card a little bit better. I don't like using Bagwell Swing. Kyle Tucker, there is a different 99 finest Kyle Tucker. It's a little bit better, so you could put him there if you have him. But I got this all-star card there. Chaz McCormick in center. Dr. Smooth, who's got, yes, in the name, a very smooth swing. Lefty, and he's got more pop now against righties. And um, looks pretty good. Ma almost maxed everything, but 87 power against lefties. Alex Bregman has almost max power and contact. 113 against righties. 115 power against lefties. And then 90 vision. Um, and you could leave Jordan in if there's a righty on the mound, but he's got 76 vision, or you can change him out for Bagwell, Martin Maldonado, Marcio Dubon, or John Singleton. Or if you have the 99 Jeremy Pena, you could put him there, or this 97 Jeremy Pena as well. Pitching is going to be Christian Javier. He gives 25 hits per nine, 25 pitching clutch, 20K per nine. Roy Oswalt, Nolan Ryan, this no-hitter card, Framber Valdez, and J.R. Richard. In the bullpen, it's pretty deep. You got Brian Abreu, Ryan Presley, Phil Maton, and Billy Wagner. And the reason I say it's deep um, is because all these cards are definitely competitive, I think. You can use them. And uh, that's pretty much it. After that, it's all live series cards, but still pretty good bullpen, pretty good team overall. All right, the Angels are a really fun team. I like this one a lot. Might rank in my top 10. Um, Captain boost is from Hunter Renfro. It's a really good boost. 25 power to the righties, or against righties, and 20 power against lefties. 15 arm strength and 20 contact against lefties. So that's an awesome power boost right there. Um, <clears throat> so a couple things you can do here. The, the definite cards I would have in here if you got them is Mike Trout, either this one or the finest one. Um, put him in center field, obviously. There's his wheel, maxed out everything, 97 vision, maxed out fielding and speed. So he's the best card, one of the best cards in the game already, and even better now. I put Chili Davis in left field. He's got maxed out everything, and then the 104 vision. Um, he is an okay fielder for a DH primary. He's got really good fielding. So I put him there because he's the best option. I think, you know, you could put Tim Salmon out there, but I'd rather have Chili Davis um, and his swing. Tim Salmon's card is really good. He's got maxed everything almost, and then 94 vision. I like this Vlad card, but he's not a great fielder. Tommy Lestell is here on the bench. Um, his wheel looks incredible. You know, really balanced. 112, 115, 125, 105, and 117. Randall Gritchick, you could change out for Nolan Chenille. Um, Taylor Ward or some of these other guys, Brandon Marsh maybe, but let's keep going. I got Cole Calhoun at first, and if you want, you could put him in right field, and Hunter Renfro at first base, Brandon Drury at second base. I got Shohei in the DH spot so that he can pitch as well. Um, yeah, it's tough. I, I always have a hard time figuring out what to do here. I got Luis Ranjifo at shortstop, good switch hitter, and Troy Gloss at third base. But now, I'm oh, sorry, and Logan Ohapi at catcher. I think um, Tommy Lestella can play first. If you want to get Vlad in, you're going to have to end up putting him in right field because he can only play the outfield. Uh, Cole Calhoun, I like him a lot, so you could put him at first base. So if you do take the Caps and Hunter Renfro out, you could put Vlad in right. And then if you face a lefty, you could put Tim Salmon in the DH spot, unless you want to hit lefty-lefty with Shoei. I think it's fine. Either way, you got some really good options here. Pitching is going to be Reed Detmers. He's 25K per nine, 20 hits per nine, and 15 walk per nine. All right, he's got Shoei Otani on the boost, Patrick Sandoval, and Tyler Anderson, and then uh, Griffin Canning for the live series card. Bullpen's pretty good with Troy Percival. Um, that's it. That's about it, actually. It's just Troy Percival. Mike Mayers, Ben Joyce, and this 89 Rysel Iglesias, and this 86 World Baseball Classic, Gerardo uh, Reyes. Okay, the Oakland Athletics is surprising. You are going to be surprised with this team. It's it, on paper. All right. Um, I tried playing with them. It, was, it didn't go well, but this team is not as bad as you think. It's David Justice for the captain. He's got 20 contact against righties. 20 plate vision, which is cool, and 15 power against righties. 
and then 10 batting clutch. Here is how I would orient the team. Now, if you're doing an all-time A's team, you obviously know there's so many players who ran through the A's and got traded or um, became a free agent or whatever. So you could put like the Marcus Simeon at uh, second base if you want it. Whereas, he, you know, you got the postseason Marcus Simeon and you got the um, all-star Marcus Simeon. You could put John, sorry, Josh Donaldson at third base. A um, couple of different things you could do there. You could put the Reggie Jackson 99 overall in right field. But working with just the A's cards, here's what we're going to go with. David Justice is going to stay in the game in left field. All right, and then I got Mark McGuire at third base um, because I don't have anyone else that could play. Hmm, let me think about this. No, see, so you, you kind of, if you want to use all of these cards, at least you kind of have to orient it this way. Um, I think Jimmy Fox, a catcher, is your best option. He's got max everything on the wheel, except for the 116 contact and 114 vision. Already a really good card to begin with, but the boost helps him a little bit too. Uh, Ryan Noda in the DH spot, and then Mark McGuire at third base. Not a strong fielder, obviously, but the vision boost helps him a ton. He goes up from 76 to um, 96. All right, and then. 10 batting clutch, he now has 106 batting clutch from 96. All right. Uh, Jimmy Fox and then Jace Peterson, shortstop, who can play a variety of positions, almost all of them. But I would put Ricky Henderson center field. All right, he's going to be your best option for center field. I think it's more important to have someone who's good in center than left and right. Reggie Jackson in right field. Um, Brent Rooker at first and Zach Geloff at second. On the bench, you got Seth Brown. Tyler Swordstrom, uh, sorry, Soderstrom, and then Tony Kemp and Estuary Ruiz, who can play a bunch of positions as well. Uh, you don't really have a lot of options outside of that. You got this 89 Marcus Simeon. You got Jordan Diaz. Uh, that's about it. All right, pitching. Pains me to say I can't use one of my favorite cards is Lefty Grove, 99 overall. But you got Lefty Grove Captain, who does not have outlier, which sucks. So his tier three captain boost is going to be 25 walks per nine, 20 stamina, 20 pitching clutch, and 15 hits per nine. All right, that's going to give a boost to Catfish Hunter, Sean Manea, Paul Blackburn, and Frankie Montas. All right, Paul Blackburn was actually okay in set one. So hopefully this boost helps him out to become a little more competitive. Doesn't look like it, but oh well. Bullpen, you got Eck, Dennis Eckersley, uh, Raleigh Fingers, Liam Hendricks, this Blake Trinan, which plays above his 95 attribute card, I think, and Lou Trevino, also another card that plays well above his 94 overall rating. So the bullpen's actually kind of deep here. You got two 99s that can definitely compete, a 97 that's okay, all right, and then these two 95, you know, 94 overalls that play above their attributes. All right, now for one of the most fun theme teams, in my opinion, probably maybe top five, top six is the Seattle Mariners. The captain is Teoscar Hernandez, all right? And I don't think he has a 99, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, 25 power against lefties, 25 contact against lefties, 20 power against righties, 20 contact against righties. So it's all contact to power, and it's a huge power boost overall, which is awesome. Ken Griffey Jr. is maxed everything now, all right? And if you don't have the home run derby card, um, you can use the set one BR reward. Hopefully you have that one. If not, you put J-Rod in center, all right? Uh, I got J-Rod in right field, the monthly awards card. He also has the finest card, which is a little bit harder to get from my understanding. He's got max everything in the 93 vision. I put Ra Raul Ibanez, who is a nice lefty swing, even against lefties. Max everything almost with the 115 power, 103 uh, vision at first base. So that's awesome. Kyle Seeger is a beast here. Max everything, 116 vision, 94 fielding. You could put him at third if you want. JP Crawford, really smooth left-handed swing. Max everything except for 118 power against lefties and 110 vision. And pretty solid fielding at shortstop. Anyhino Suarez, like I said, if you want to put Seeger here, you can. But I got Suarez here at um, 102 contact against righties, 125 power. Uh, sorry, 125 contact against lefties and then 125 power against righties, 116 power against lefties and 76 vision. And he's a pretty good fielder as well. Mike Cameron in left field is a solid option. You got the... Um, 
the outfield pretty locked down with this team here. All right, so this is probably the best fielding team, I think, out there. Um, you got almost max contact. You got max power, 97 vision, uh, max speed and stealing almost, and almost max fielding. So he's almost there with everything. Cal Raleigh behind the dish, obviously. Uh, max everything with 88 vision. On the bench, you got Jerry Kelnick, Ty France, Edgar Martinez, and Jose Caballero, who you could swap any of those guys out for Mike Zanino or Harry Ford. Um, but these bench players, look at their wheels. All of them are really, really good options to put in either, you know, at third base for Suarez or the DH spot um, for uh, Teoscar Hernandez. So I would probably go with Jose Caballero if I wanted the speed, or I would go with Ty France for the power. Um, if it's a righty, I'll go with Jared Kelenic. He's pretty much only, I think his swing is a little tough against lefties, but um, he's still got a good attribute wheel. Pitching, it's going to be Logan Gilbert. 25 walks per nine, 20 hits per nine, 15 stamina. I wish I still had the 99 Seattle Mariners or Randy Johnson finest chase pack reward, but I sold it. If you got that one, you could put him in there. You got George Kirby, Luis Castillo. Sorry, there's George Kirby's wheel. Luis Castillo and then Robbie Ray and Randy Johnson. Andres Munoz in the bullpen. Matt Brash is a pretty good card. Kendall Graveman and Paul Seawald. Okay, this team right here will probably make my top three teams in terms of, uh, you know, captain boosts. You got the Rangers. So... There is a 99 overall Jonah Heim, but the captain is Jonah Heim. And he's still got a good option at catcher, but here is his tier three boost. 25 contact against lefties, 20 power against righties, uh, 25 batting clutch, and 20 contact against righties. Uh, so Mike Napoli is going to be behind the dish. Not as good of a catcher as Jonah Heim, but he's maxed out in everything in the hitting columns, and he's got 92 vision. Uh, Nathaniel Lau at first base. Uh, almost maxed everything, but 100 pop against lefties, 93 vision. Marcus Semyon at second base, who you can swap out for um, a couple of different players. I'll show you. But he's got almost max everything, but 101 power against lefties, 111 vision, really great fielding. All right, this card is a beast. Um, it was already good enough to begin with, in my opinion, and now it's even better. Adolis Garcia, he's maxed everything except for 95 vision, great fielding. Great steal ability. If you want, you can put him in center field, and then you could put someone else in right field. But I got Leody Tavares in center with that really good fielding to lock it down in center field. So this is another good um, fielding outfield, much like the Mariners. All right. His hitting attributes are a little unbalanced, but like I said, I think he's worth having out there. I'm going to put Alfonso Soriano on left field. He's a BR reward. Uh, he's got, you know, stealing ability, speed. Good enough fielding and left, and really, really good hitting attributes. If you want, you could put Evan Carter out there, um, but I, I'd rather have Alfonso Soriano out there, to be honest. Corey Seager at third. You know, I don't have to say much about him. There's a postseason Corey Seager card. If you want to put him there, you can. I don't have him, but this one will definitely play as well. He's got max everything with 106 vision. And then Elvis Andrews at shortstop. Uh, you could put Seeger here if you want it. You could put Marcus Semi in there, or you could put this Michael Young here. A event reward, I believe. I really like this card. I think it's underrated. Um, I've only used it in events, I think. Or no, I think I've only used it in BR. So from what I've heard from other people, it's good, but my experience is limited. You got Evan Carter, Josh Jung, and Ian Kinsler. You could swap them out for Mitch Garver. Ezekiel Duran, Garf Sauce, Boomstick, um, Joey Gallo, Travis Jankowski, if you want speed. This team just has so much depth, and uh, it's insane. There's so much you can do with it, and a lot of players you can move around as well. All right, but there is Michael Young, and there is Elvis Andrews on their wheel. All right, um, pitching is pretty deep as well. You got Nathan Avaldi as the captain, so you can't use his 99. 25 walks per nine, 20 hits per nine, 15K per nine. Got Andrew Heaney in the starting rotation, Jordan Montgomery, Martin Perez, and I have this 95 overall live series, Jacob DeGrom. Um, I think the captain card might be a better option with the boost, but I just have this one here so I could kind of show off my P5 there. But in the bullpen, you got uh, Aroldis Chapman, 
Josh Spores, Jose LeCleric, and John Gray. And then 95, Joe Nathan, and 95, Alex Claudio. I also threw in this 94 overall, Grant Anderson, um, just to show that you can almost get a full diamond bullpen with this team. So this team has a ton of depth from uh, power, speed, and all of the pitching as well. Definitely a top three team in my opinion. Okay, we got back-to-back -to -back top three teams for me. Uh, the Braves definitely make it maybe maybe the best team, actually, either one or two. Um, so the captain is Sean Murphy at the dish, and he gives 25 batting clutch, 20 power against righties, 15 fielding ability, and 10 contact against righties. Really good boost. Uh, I would leave him behind the dish. He's got catcher pop time as the quirk uh, still with his 95 overall. So I would leave him there and I would put the DH spot for someone else. Now his hitting wheel, Sean Murphy doesn't look great, but he's your best catcher option. Like I said, you could also move around Eddie Matthews and Austin Riley. You could put him in left. Um, you could put Hank Aaron in left if you want it. I personally am not that great with Hank Aaron. So I actually have Austin Riley out there and then Eddie Matthews, a card I really want to use more at third base. So Here's what he looks like with the boost. Chipper, probably a top three card in the game as well. He's maxed everything with 112 vision at shortstop. Austin Riley in left, really good card. I like this card a lot. Um, good righty swing against righties too. Michael Harris Jr. or Michael Harris the second in uh, center. Good fielding, good speed, stealing threat. Pop against righties, uh, 91 power against lefties. Really good overall card. Acuna, I don't need to explain much. He's almost maxed everything um, around the entire wheel. So, steel threat, speed, fielding, good arm, uh, 119 vision, 125 clutch, 125 contact, and almost max pop as well. Matt Olson, uh, a little deficient against lefties before the boost. All right, in contact, that is. Um, he doesn't get a contact against lefties in this boost, so he's still 118.92. And then 125, 115 pop with 81 of vision, and he's kind of slow. So you could use a speed boost, but we don't get that here. Ozzy Albies, if you don't have him, you could put um hmm, you could put Arcia there, you could put um this 97 overall Ozzy Albies there. That's actually a good option. But uh, we got this core card here, it's really good. 116 vision, almost max contact, and then 125 pop and 101 pop. All right, and 99 fielding. Gary Sheffield, I love this card. It's max everything. Um, he's got a little bit of a stand over the plate stance, so a lot of people don't like that. But he does have a quick swing, I promise you. So if you can get past the visual of his stance, this card will be amazing for you. He's got, like I said, maxed everything, including vision. So the entire right side of the wheel is 125, and that's just one of the coolest things to see in this game. On the bench, you got Hammer and Hank, who almost has 125 everything around the wheel. Um, but he's got 117 vision, really good card. I would recommend using him. I just personally don't hit that well with him. Uh, so I would save him for a bench spot. Eddie Rosario, this Nicky Lopez card, which is really fun. He is actually a relief pitcher, so he's not getting boosted for the hitting stats, but he can throw out of the bullpen and he's got 95 velo. He's got a screwball, a uh, really fun card to use here. So like I said, not getting boosted for the hitting, but he's getting boosted by the pitching captain. And then I went with Jason Hayward just for nostalgic purposes. Um, I remember, like, I just associate Hayward with the Braves from when he was getting hype coming up in the league. But you could go with Dandy Swanson, Arcia, Travis Darno, Kevin Pillar, um, a couple other guys here. Pitching is Craig Kimbrell. So that's good because you want to have these all of these starting pitchers here. You can change out this 97 overall Warren Spawn for Mike Soroka, Bryce Elder, John Smoltz, Charlie Morton. Um, that's about it. But a lot of depth in the rotation because you got Spencer Strider, Greg Maddox, the professor, Max Freed, and Tom Glavin. Um, bullpen, you got Rysel Iglesias, Tyler Matzik, Joe Jimenez, and Pierce Johnson. And then a Tops Now card. All right, the Marlins are another team where I would recommend maybe going with the theme team or all-time Marlins instead of just the theme team with the cards because there's a lot of good players who used to play for the Marlins. Um, you got uh, the 99 Gary Sheffield. You got JT Real Muto. 
Um, you got who else? I'm gonna forget. Miguel Cabrera, 99 overall. Um, but we have their lower version cards here. You got Pudge, who the 89 overall card is gonna be your best option at catcher, unless you want to use the 99 for the sake of uh being better. But the captain's Jorge Soler, and you got 25 contact against lefties, 25 power against lefties, 20 power against righties, and 10 batting clutch. All right. I have Jake Berger at third with almost max everything except for 105 contact against righties and 88 vision. Luis Arias in left field, who looks insanely stacked with this power boost. Uh, he's got 115 pop and 117 pop now, and max contact, max vision. So almost max everything on the right side of the wheel. Jazz, same deal, almost max everything, except uh, 112. Oh, I didn't see that. Hold on. Contact still 113 and 112. 77 vision is not great. Um, this other Jazz has a little bit better vision if you want that. Giancarlo Stan in right field. Josh Bell at first base, who has max everything except for 88 vision, and he's a switch hitter, so this is a really nice card. Mike Lau can play second base. I got him there. 111 vision. 102, 125 contact, and 101, 125 pop. John Birdie at shortstop, low on the pop, but he's a good fielder with stealing ability and speed. And uh, like I said, Pudge behind the dish. You could keep Jorge Soler in the DH spot, or you could put in D. Strange Gordon for speed, Miguel Cabrera for a pop, uh, Gary Sheffield for pop, and this Jacob Amaya card. Not a lot of other options after that. Pitching is going to be Jesus Lazardo, so it kind of... Again, stinks that we can't use the 99 Lazardo. You got AJ Burnett, Yuri Perez, Al Leader, and Noble Meyer. So some pretty good pitching cards here, regardless um, of the captain to begin with. But the captain boost does give 25K per nine, 20 walks per nine, and 20 hits per nine. In the bullpen, we got Tanner Scott, uh, Huskar Brazobin, and Ryan Stanek. That's about it. All right, it pains me to say this, but our my rival team, the New York Mets, is definitely a top five team in my opinion. I actually really like the, using this team too. And uh, even just using some of the individual cards without a boost or having them on a theme team, a lot of these cards are really good. Um, the boost is going to come from Jeff McNeil, 25 contact against righties, 20 contact against lefties, 15 fielding ability, and 10 power against righties. All right, you only need eight hitters. I went with Francisco Alvarez behind the dish. All right. He's got almost 125 everything around the wheel. I like his swing. He's got 105 vision. Um, now, while it may be better to have Gary Carter behind the dish because he has catcher pop time, I have him in right field because I want to be able to use both of them. And Francisco Alvarez doesn't have any secondary positions. So if I wanted to, I could put um, Alvarez... I guess I could do this. I'll put Alvarez in the DH spot, and we'll put Pete Alonso at first base and Keith Hernandez in right field. All right. This Keith Hernandez card is not bad. I, I'm like okay with him. Um, he's kind of a little bit hard to figure out, but he's got a quick swing. We've got Eduardo Escobar at second base, Brandon Nimmo in center field. This was an event reward, I believe. Finest Francisco Lindor at shortstop, David Wright at third, almost maxed everything. And Michael Conforto, a pretty good card in left field. All right. Uh, Gary Carter is probably my favorite card on this team, though. All right. And then Pete Alonso at first base. On the bench, we got uh, Alvarez will go in the DH spot. But we got this Ronnie Mauricio, who plays well above his 95 stat uh, attribute, you know, indication. He's got a good switch hitting swing. And with the boost, he looks a little bit better, except for that vision at 78. Mike Piazza, 97 overall. Um, looks pretty good with the boost. And then Colin Houck is there as well. Pitching is going to be Cody Singa, so you can't use the 99 one. But you got 25 hits per nine, 25 pitching clutch, and 20K per nine. Tom Terrific, Noah Syndergaard. I don't have the 99 Jacob DeGrom, but you could put him there. And then we got Steven Matz. Bullpen's pretty good. We got John Franco, Edwin Diaz, uh, Aaron Loop, and Brooks Raley. And then this Jesus Familia, if you want. And there's the Mets. Okay, now the Phillies are an interesting team because <clears throat> this is one situation where the captain, uh, he might actually be better using off the set three captain that doesn't have all the crazy stats than the set five captain. Uh, to me, it's still a top five team. Maybe, maybe five, if not six. Um, I really, I mean, I have bias towards him, but this is a great team nonetheless. Richie Ashburn is the set five captain. 
He gives 25 plate vision, 20 batting clutch, 15 fielding ability, and 20 contact versus righties. So it is a really good boost. However, a lot of these cards could benefit from a power boost. You know, obviously Harper doesn't need one, uh, but JT could use one. Chase Ali, he's fine without one, but he could use one. Jimmy Rollins, same thing. Um, Bryson Stott, same thing. Brandon Marsh could definitely use a power boost. All right, but I have all these cards here. Here's what they look like with Richie Ashburn's boost. Now, the only reason I actually play with the other Phillies team boost is I like the 99 overall Richie Ashburn center field. To me, he fields the ball just as well as Mickey Mantle and Mike Trout 99 Chase Pack reward cards, if not better. I've never gotten a bad animation with him. He gets a great jump to every ball, tracks the ball well, catches everything. Never does that thing where he hits his glove and drops it. All right. So you could run with this team. You get the vision boost, which is really nice. All these guys all have over 120 vision, which is crazy. And same with the guys on the bench, except for Schmidt and Howard. Um, but you could also do Ryan Howard's tier three, uh, set three, captain boost. All right. What that would look like is... Oh, sorry. And I'll go through the pitching, which is pretty good, too. Here, you can have Richie Ashburn center field, all right? And that will leave you... Um, well, what I would do is put Trey Turner in the DH spot. Uh, you get the good fielding with Richie in center. You could also put this Kyle Schwarber in the DH spot if you wanted. You could also put Kyle Schwarber in left field, even though his fielding is not that great. All right, this Kyle Schwarber has better fielding who can also play catcher. So if you want to put him in left, I would do that as well. But now look at Jimmy Rollins with a tier three Ryan Howard boost. He's got max contact, 117 and 115 pop, 125 vision, and then max fielding and speed and stealing. So he's almost got max everything around the wheel. And I love that. Jimmy Rollins is a switch hitter. So that makes this card even better. Um, Chase Utley now has 120 pop on both sides. All right. Castellanos, you could put the... Postseason Castellanos here for max pop and contact and 116 vision. So it's a little bit better. Bryson Stott now has more pop um, and he's almost got max everything as well. So I would take Howard out for either Trey Turner. Uh, I would just put Trey Turner and he's good against righties. All right. JT Real Muto, there's a couple different ones. If you don't have the World Baseball Classic or this prime JT Real Muto, definitely go with the NLCS JT Real Muto who has. 97 speed and 79 stealing, which is the best speed attributes and base running attributes for a catcher in the game. Um, he can steal bases. He's got catcher pop time, good arm, obviously, and a really good swing, even against righties. So that's the Phillies hitting. I'll leave it there. I wouldn't use Mike Schmidt. You all know he has a bad swing. Raul Bong as I like. And Brandon Marsh. Um, I would try him out. I'm doing really well with him. He's pretty good. He's pretty decent against lefties as well. On paper, his attributes aren't there, but he he plays well. Pitching is going to be Jose Alvarado. He has outlier one, and his 98 overall card actually matches up pretty well with the boosted 95 card. So the green check boxes on the right, he only has six more walks per nine. Everything else is kind of minuscule. So this 95 Jose Alvarado plays really well. All right, and then you got Billy the Kid. Jeff Hoffman, Craig Kimbrell, and Matt Strom. All right, and then Jake Diekman, and then live series, Sir Anthony Dominguez, live series, Gregory Soto. Forgot to show you the boost. 20 hits per nine, 25K per nine, and 25 pitching clutch. All right, Phillies, for me, probably at the back end of the top five teams, but again, it's bias, and I really like using them. A lot of fun cards to use here. Easy cards to hit with, too. Okay, so try them out if you haven't already. All right, another bummer of a team here, and the main reason is you can't use 99 overall Tim Raines. The captain is Tim Raines. He's going to give 25 speed, which is cool, 25 contact and against righties, 20 base running ability, which is interesting, and then 20 batting clutch. And we're going to see another base running boost from Lou Brock when we get to the Cardinals. Um, I'm interested to see where that... I think it's to base running aggressiveness which helps with stealing ability and, and moving around the base paths. Um, but there's no base running ability like bar attribute line. So I, I don't know what that's all about, but I'm assuming it's based on aggressiveness and maybe it's just a hidden attribute stat. All right, but I have Yohandi Morales at third base because Anthony Rendon just 
if you've seen his late recent interviews, doesn't even seem like he wants to play baseball. So I got you handy here from the draft class. Uh, CJ Abrams is a better card on this team. Uh, there's his wheel there. He lacks contact against lefties and power against lefties. All right. We got a diet Gary Carter um, at catcher. Still Gary Carter, so still good swing. Uh, but he only has 91 pop against righties. Trey Turner, 97 overall at, at second base is a good option. Adam Dunn at first base has low vision, but he's got a lot of pop. Bryce Harper, 97 overall in right field, a good swing, but he's got low vision as well, 62 vision. Dylan Cruz, one of the better cards in the game to begin with, and then he's get the boost in center field. So this is probably the best card on this team. All right, and then Lane Thomas in left field. On the bench, you got Elijah Green, Joey Meneses, Stone Garrett, and Alex Call. All right, you can swap them out for Luis Garcia, Jacob Young, Jeter Downs, um, or Tony Two Bags if you want, but I just left them there, you know, because why not? Uh, the pitching captain is Hunter Harvey in the bullpen, 25 walks per nine, 20 hits per nine, 15 pitching clutch. You got Patrick Corbin, 94 overall, that plays well above in that. I think he's a 99 um, bullpen arm here. And then just one more World Baseball Classic 79 overall card and some live series cards. Pitching's not great. You got Steven Strasburg, Josiah Gray, Cade Cavalli, uh, Jake Irvin, and then a live series, Mackenzie Gore. So nothing to write home about. On to the Cubs, another one of my favorite theme teams by far. I've used this team a bunch because they're they're awesome. Um, starting out with Kyle Schwarber at catcher, he's the secondary cap, you know, catcher position. Thank God they have that because they don't have other good options at catcher for the Cubs. Um, the captain is Reen Sandberg, so that's good because I don't want to use Reen Sandberg anyway. <laughs> but 25 contact against righties, 20 batting clutch, 15 fielding ability, and 10 power against righties. And there's a lot of things you can do with this team moving around. I would put, this is how I like to do it, how you see it here. You could put Anthony Rizzo at first base, this 97 overall. You could put Chris Bryant at third base, who I don't even have here because there's not enough room for him, but he looks really good with this boost. Uh, 52 vision is very low, though. I like this Jaime Candelario card, so I put him there. And now that I think about it, I think Ernie Banks is a better fielder, so what I would do is take the DH spot and put uh, Jaime Candelario in the DH spot. Cody Bellinger in center field, obviously. He's got almost max everything around the wheel and 118 vision. Sammy Sosa in right field. You could put Billy Williams out there if you don't like him. And Seiya Suzuki tops now in left field. It's a 99. Sorry, not tops now. Monthly award in left field, 99 overall. Dansby Swanson, World Series reward at shortstop. Javier Baez at second. Billy Williams at first. Really good card here. Good swing. Ian Happ, switch hitter on the bench, 99 overall. It doesn't look like a 99 on paper, um, but he can play a lot of positions, and the 79 pop against lefties kind of stinks, but it is what it is. Anthony Rizzo and Patrick Wisdom, who I said you could swap out for Chris Bryant, Alfonso Soriano, and Christopher Morel. Pitching is Fergie Jenkins. He is going to give 25 walks per nine, 25 pitching clutch, and 15 stamina, 15 hits per nine. He gives a boost to Mark Pryor, Marcus Stroman, who you could swap out with either Kyle Hendricks, Jameson Tyone, um, Jordan Wicks, and this Drew Smiley. Justin Steele, 99, and Kerry Wood, 99. Lee Smith in the bullpen, Javier Assad, who plays above that 95 rating, Bruce Sutter, Mark Leader Jr., and that's about it. All right, not going to lie to you guys, I got pretty tired, so I just came back here the next day, hence why you have the change of scenery a little bit and my sweatshirt, and it looks like it's daytime out, which it is now. Uh, on to the Reds, we got Mike Cameron. I like this card, or this team. And it's not one of the best, but I still like it. You got 25 power against lefties, 20 contact against righties, 15 power, or I'm sorry, 15 speed, and 10 power against righties. All right, uh, keep in mind here, you know, there's the cycle Ellie. I sold him. That doesn't mean you can't use uh, this LA and be perfectly as good with him. Um, I don't think he really gets helped out by the boost that much. He already had max power against uh, lefties. Um, contact against righties. No, I'm sorry. He did not have max power against lefties, so now he does. All right. He already had the max contact against righties. He already had the speed. But you can put him there. Um, 
you could put the Johnny Bench from the MVP World Series down at the catcher position. And I think that's it as far as... Uh, in the bullpen, you got the Nasty Boy, Rob Dibble, 99. And of obviously, uh, the Missile, Aroles Chapman. All right, so I have the rookie card here because I don't have the other one. But bullpen looks pretty good with those two once you add them and Alexis Diaz. Um, so let's get through the rest of the hitters. You got Barry Larkin at shortstop. Pretty good shortstop. I don't see a lot of people using them, though. Big Donkey in left. TJ Friedel in center. Ken Griffey Sr. in right, who looks a lot better with this power boost. Uh, everything's above 100 on the wheel. Pretty good swing, too. He's got 99 speed now. Um, can try stealing bases with that 80 stealing. All right, and then you want to go with Joey Votto down at first base and Joe Morgan at second. All right, Joe Morgan gets a tremendous power boost from this. He only had an 82 pop and 71 pop, and now he gets 92 and 96. Okay, so it looks a lot better there. Um, he's got 99 speed and stealing. Friedel's got 99 speed and stealing now too, or just the speed, I'm sorry. Bench, you got Matt McLean, who's a really good option to sub in for pretty much any position. <laughs> you can play second, third, short, and then all the outfield positions. All right, and then you got Ingeno Suarez on the bench. I have Adam Duvall here and Christian Encarnacion. You could take one of these guys out for Tyler Naquin, Jesse Winker, or Tony Perez if you want it. All right. And then this uh, no Noel V. Marte, who's actually pretty good. He's got a Future Stars card. Um, I think it's an underrated card, so you could swap him there as well. And Spencer Steer isn't bad either. Pitching is going to be Hunter Green. It's going to be 25 pitching clutch, 25K per nine, and 20 hits per nine. All right, and then you got Johnny Cueto, the World Series reward right here. He's probably your best pitcher here, other than uh, the missile if you have him. Starting pitching-wise, you also have Andrew Abbott, um, tops now, Nick Lododo, Nick Lodolo, and Brandon Williamson. All right, and then Alexis Diaz, Rob Dibble, Lucas Sims, Alex Young, and Ricky Karcher in the bullpen, along with Arolas Chapman if you have him. All right, on to the Brewers. I like this team a lot, really good. And keep in mind, you'll have the signature series, Christian Yelich, if you got him here in left field. And if you really want, Greg Vaughn has a signature series 99 overall card. I don't see a lot of people using him. I struggle with his swing, so you might even keep him on the bench, even if you do have his 99 overall card. But he is there. Um, Prince Fielder is the captain. He's going to give 25 power versus righties, 15 power versus lefties. So it's a heavy power boost. 20 batting clutch, and 20 contact against right east. At third, I have Paul Molitor, and he looks really good all around now. Um, he had 96 pop and 80 pop, and now he's got 121 power and 95 power. All right, he's got 95 speed and stealing already, so he's a pretty good um, he's a pretty good player out there. Willie Adamas, I like this card a lot. I think this card and his Kaiju card from set two were both underrated and underused by a lot of people. 83 vision is the only deficit here, but with this boost, he looks pretty good. All right, he's got great fielding at shortstop. You could go Luis Arias at second. Um, you could also go, I'm trying to think, Owen Miller. You can go Owen Miller at second base if you wanted. You have this Future Stars card you can put in the outfield. Anyway, um, first base, I have Jesus Aguilar. You could also put Prince Fielder there if you wanted. He's good against righties, not that great against lefties with 76 vision and 78 contact. Uh, Tyrone Taylor in right field, and then Jackson Churio in center. Great card. A lot of people use this card when they got him. And then this collection reward, William Contreras, I really like a lot, who can also play right field if you want it. But um, he's better off a catcher. All right, he's max everything with 102 vision. So really, really good card here. And he's got a couple of quirks. Ryan Braun, if you have the 99, I would recommend using him in left field and then put uh, Christian Yelich in right um, or put the better fielder in right field. So you can go with that. Rowdy Telez is tops now card on the bench. And like I said, Greg Vaughn or one of these other guys. The pitching captain is Freddy Peralta, 25K per nine, 20 hits per nine, 20 walks per nine. Very similar to all the other pitching boosts. Corbin Burns is your best pitcher here. And then you got 95 captain Brandon Woodruff and then two live series pitchers. So it's not that, um, not that deep in the rotation, but the bullpen looks pretty good with Devin Williams, Joel Pyamps. A lot of people have used this card. I really like Trevor McGill. He has an outlier knuckle curve. 
and it comes in it usually comes in at like 86 and 87 miles per hour which for a knuckle curve can really catch you off guard um so i do like trevor mcgill hobie milner and then Corey knabel drew pomeranz this card's pretty good for a 94 as well josh Hader. so if you wanted to do a theme team or an all-time team you could use the padres josh Hader, and then um a live series card all right, the Pirates are another really fun team. I think they might crack the top 10 for me. I think I just really like using them. They're a fun team to, to move around guys with. Um, for me, I actually really like the 99 Bill Mazeroski, but he's got a captain card here, so you cannot use him. Some people are okay with that, perfectly fine with that, and um, or they're probably glad that it's not someone else or, you know, like Andrew McCutcheon or Brian Reynolds. But his Tier 3 boost is pretty good. It's 25 contact against righties. 20 bad and clutch, 10 power against righties, and 15 fielding ability, which is cool. All right. He gives a boost to all these guys who you can move, like, you know, Roberto Clemente around. You could actually put him at third base if you want, at second base. And then all the outfield positions. He's obviously a great defender and he can defend all those positions really well, no matter where you put him. Okay. Um, a guy like Honus Wagner, he could have used a power boost this time around. Um, he's only going to get that against righties, so he's still not that powerful, but you know, it's Honus Wagner. He's a good swing. He's fast, uh, fields well. You can put him anywhere in the field. All right. Except for catcher. I got Willie Stargell at first base, and then I'm going to keep Roberto Clemente in right field. I got Andrew McCutcheon in center, Brian Reynolds in left, O'Neill Cruz at shortstop, and then key Brian Hayes with his good fielding. Um, at third base, if you don't want him there, you could put Cruz here. You could put, uh, the flying Dutchman at second. Clemente, or sorry, the Flying Dutchman at shortstop, Clemente at uh, second, and then you could put one of these guys in right field like Jack Sawinski or Ralph Kiner, who I really like Ralph Kiner, even though his swing is a little long. He's got really good stats. Um, he's got a really cool pimp job, which is fun. Um, and then you could also put Josh Bell in right field if you wanted to, if you want to switch hitter. And I know a lot of people do like Josh Bell, so you could do that too. All right. Jason Bay is an option here. You could put him out for... This future stars card or josh harrison is kind of a fun card to use maybe corey dickerson um but i got swinsky on the bench key brian hayes unless you put him at third and i would probably go with ralph kiner in the dh spot since he is not a good fielder and i would keep clemente out there and um just switch these around like i had it the first time all right so clemente would, or kiner would go in for the dh brian reynolds and left there's his wheel i forgot to show you it's pretty stacked. All right. Jason Kendall's your only option to catcher. I hate using Jason Kendall. I'm terrible with him. I don't like his stance. I don't like his swing. And um, he's tough to hit with, in my opinion. Pitching, it's not bad. Uh, just not a lot of depth, but you got Jameson Tyone, Paul Skeens, Mitch Keller, and then tops now, uh, Johan Oviedo and Quinn Priester. The captain is Goose Gossage in the bullpen. 25 pitching clutch, 25K per nine, and 20 hits per nine. And uh, David Bettinar and Mark Melanson drew Moreta. This David Bettinar is not that great. It's only three pitch mix. Um, he won't blow you away with anything. All right. All right, now the Cardinals are a team you could do a lot of things with. So very fun to use. Can hit really well. The mega boost comes from Lou Brock. So if you want to use like the Mark McGuire boost, uh, I would recommend that too. And then just putting McGuire at first or DH so you can take him out. But Lou Brock is going to give uh, 25 contact against righties, 25 speed, which is a huge speed boost, 20 base running ability, and 20 clutch. All right. Here's what I would recommend. If you don't like Arenado at third because you don't like his swing, um, there's his wheel, by the way. It's pretty correct. But if you don't like his swing, you could put Carpenter there, and then you could actually put Goldschmidt at first. Or you could put Mark McGuire at first, but I imagine if you don't like using Arenado, you probably don't like using Mark McGuire either, all right? Which, in case, if you don't like using Mark McGuire at all, I would take him out for the 99 Gold Glove Jim Edmonds. I have this one here just to show you that you can put him there. Um, you could also do uh, Stand the Man at first and then put, like, Jordan Walker out in right field if you want it. Um... Both of them actually have similar fielding, except for Jordan Walker has a better arm, so you can put him out there if you wanted. All right. I like Joe Torrey at catcher. Now, I don't have Wilson Contreras in left field, but he does have a secondary just to show you that. So I would put Matt Holiday in left field. 
and Jatori at catcher because I love his swing. So even though Contreras is a better fielding catcher, I just I can't leave Jatori out because I've had so much success with his swing. Um, like I said, Kerry Carpenter, good option. He's got a smooth swing. You got Paul DeYoung at shortstop. Could do Ozzie Smith if you want it. There's a 99 Ozzie Smith from set one. But I like Paul DeYoung here. Lars Newbar in center. I, I would stick with him there. And then Nolan Gorman at second. He's got a nice swing as well. Stand the man at first with that 125 vision. 125 pop against lefties. Max contact against both sides. It's a great card. All right. I mean, you could leave Lou Brock in the DH spot if you want it, the speed. Um, but I would put him in. I would take him out for if it's a righty, Jim Edmonds. And if it's a lefty, probably Goldschmidt or Arenado. All right. So you could do that. Pitching, uh, they got some nice depth in the rotation. So the captain is Giovanni Gallegos. He's got 25K per nine, 20 hits per nine, and 15 walks per nine. All right. Got Adam Wainwright in the rotation, Bob Gibson, Jack Flaherty, and then Miles Mikolas and Lance Lynn, or this Michael Waka, Steven Matz, or Gordon Graceffo. Yeah, so you can go with one of those guys too. In the bullpen, you got Ryan Helsley, uh, Giovanni Gallegos, Trevor Rosenthal, Lee Smith, Jojo Romero, and Alex Reyes is a another 94 bullpen arm that plays above the 94 rating in my opinion. And then a silver Guillermo from the World Baseball Classic. All right, so the Diamondbacks, uh, I did a couple of different things here than people might do, but the captain is Christian Walker. He's got 25 power against lefties and 20 power against righties, which is really nice for a power boost. Contact against righties is 20, plus 20 that is, and 15 fielding ability. Um, I got him in the DH spot. Could have put him at first, but I got Goldschmidt at first. He's got a nice wheel there, and he's got 80 vision. Um, that's the only deficit, I think. Cattell Marte at second base is the obvious choice there. You know, you got the World Baseball Classic Cattell Marte, or you got the postseason milestone Cattell Marte. Uh, I think this um, set three from the extreme program is the best option if you got him. 105 vision, 125, everything else is insane. And he's a switch hitter, fast, plays second base well enough, and I uh, really like him there. Draw to Perdomo at shortstop, I think, is a good option. Jake Lamb at third. And you could do the uh, Team Affinity Corbin Carroll on left field. That's the only Team Affinity card I don't have, so I can't put him there. But um, Drew Jones in center. Uh, you could also do Alec Thomas in center if you want a lefty. I personally like Drew Jones a little bit better, and he's a better fielder. Um, not by much, but uh, just a bet reaction and speed makes a little bit of a difference for the balls in the gap you can do tommy famine right but i would actually do alec thomas if you're going to put drew jones in center and then uh who else carson kelly a catcher so there's not a ton of good options for the catching position now you could also leave christian walk in the dh spot or take him out for um luis gonzalez lourdes Gurriel jr who's got a really nice wheel there uh, Gene Segura is actually not bad. I mean, I would consider putting Gene at third base over Jake Lamb if there's a lefty on the mound because Lamb only has 73 contact against lefties and 77 vision. Gene Segura has actually got a really nice swing and with the power boost, he becomes a lot better. I'm just going to put him there to start him and I would put Luis Gonzalez in the DH spot for the captain. All right, and then you got Tommy Pham as well. who has got a nice wheel. Pitching is going to be Merrill Kelly, starting pitcher. It's 25 pitching clutch, 20 hits per nine, 15K per nine. I like this rotation minus Zach Gallen um, because Brandon Fett plays really well. Patrick Corbin is a really tricky pitcher to hit. And then obviously one of the better pitchers in the game, uh, the big unit, Randy Johnson. So if you want to take Zach Gallen out, you also have the finest Zach Gallen and you have Robbie Ray. So you can put him there if you wanted to. Bullpen's pretty deep. It's got Kevin Ginkle, uh, Ryan Thompson. Paul Seawald, Andrew Southrink, and Reen Nelson. I, I do like this Reen Nelson card, uh, but Kevin Ginkle plays pretty well too. And then Scott McDowell, and then two live series cards. The Rockies. These are good hitters, but it was really tough to figure out where to put guys in the outfield. And um, they don't have a good center field option primary, so I think Nolan Jones is actually your best option even though it's only 82 fielding and 75 reaction, he has the arm and he's got the most speed out of all the outfield guys. So um, Charlie Blackman, I don't think would be as good. Um, he's a little bit slower too. 
So 84 speed, but you also have Larry Walker, who's a better fielder, but he's a little bit slower. So I still got him in right field. And then I got Todd Helton at first base. Um, you, if you don't like Todd Helton's swing, some people don't, you could put Big Fellow there. I like CJ Crone's swing from a righty. Um, but, you know, Todd Helton's a little bit of a better option. So Dante Bichette is an okay fielder. He's got max vision, max contact, and a little bit of pop too. So if you want to put him in left, you can do that. But then you were risking not using Charlie Blackman, who I think is a really underrated card. And so if you want it, you could put the shit, you know, I don't know, maybe in left. It's it's really tricky to do with the outfield. So whoever you don't put in the outfield, you could put in the DH spot. So I would rather have Nolan Jones out there and Charlie Blackman. So maybe I'll put Dante Bichette in for the captain. But I love this Vinny's Tequila, sorry, Vinny Castilla card at shortstop. I'll use him there all day. He's got 114 vision, uh, max contact, and then 125 power and 116 power, and he's a good fielder. Nolan Arenado is the obvious choice for the third base, max everything around the wheel, except for the 105 vision. His only deficit is that he's slow, but obviously the best fielder in the game, you know, according to his card. And then Elias Diaz uh, behind the dish, really good hitter, good swing, 105 vision, max everything else except for the 104 power against lefties. Trevor Story at second base. Um, I like his swing. It sucks that this card only has 66 vision, but it's still good swing. So you could time up balls with his, uh, you know, with his tempo. Matt Holiday is the captain, like I said. Um, 25 contact against righties, 25 contact against lefties, 20 power against righties, and 10 batting clutch. You can leave him in or take him out for one of these guys. All right, but there's Ryan McMahon, Ezekiel Tovar, uh, CJ Crone. Bichette, like I said, and then David Dahl, if you want to sub him in for one of those guys that you don't like. Pitching, it's not that deep at all. It's pretty bad, actually, but the captain is um, not Kyle Freeland. The captain is the bullpen arm, Justin Lawrence, 25 hits per nine, 20 pitching clutch, and 15K per nine. You got Adam Adovito in the bullpen, who's probably your best pitcher on this entire team, and then Daniel Bard, who's not bad, and then some live series guys. Otherwise, you got Chase Dollander. Kyle Friedland, uh, Herman Marquez, and then two live series cards. The Dodgers are a very solid theme team. However, if I played with them, I would probably just go with an all-time Dodgers team. Uh, and the reason is that I could use the Texas Rangers Corey Seager instead of this home run derby Corey Seager. But he looks really good with a boost here, except his fielding is still very low and he's pretty slow. But let's go over the boost. It's from Sean Green, and he got 25 power against righties, 25 batting clutch. 15 contact against both sides. All right, pretty good boost there. Um, you could actually leave him in against righties if you wanted, or you could take him out for uh, Enrique Hernandez, who can play any position pretty much, except for first base and catcher. Uh, Max Muncy on the bench. I like his swing against righties. And then JD Martinez has max everything except for 79 vision. Mike Piazza almost max everything. 109 pop against lefties, 102 vision. Will Smith, I have him at third base. I. I think you got to put him in there. Um, he's a good good catcher too. But, um, you know, if you want it, you can put him a catcher and Yasmani in the DH spot. Cause, or you can put Yasmani at first base. But, you know, you got Freddie Freeman there as well. So, Yaz behind the dish. Will Smith at third. Corey Seager at shortstop. Chris Taylor at second base. All right. And you could also do Mookie Betts at second base if you want it. But Mookie Betts in right field. He's max everything. And then 103 vision. I got Duke Snyder in center, um, almost max everything, including vision, except for the 99 power against lefties. And Jock Peterson, max everything, except for 98 vision, which is still pretty good. All right, pitching. Um, pitching's, it's pretty sick. You got Clint Kershaw, Dustin May, Fernando Valenzuela, Tony Gonzalez, Tyler Anderson. And the captain is Evan Phillips, so you can't use his 99, but you got 25 walks per nine, 20 hits per nine and 15K per nine, all right? Kenley Jansen, this signature series one, is the best one, I think. Eric Gagne, Bruce Dark Gratterall, and then Shelby Miller, and 91 overall Joe Kelly for fun. Um, you don't need this many pitchers, but I put some more in there just to fill it up. All right, so this team's really fun. Um, I used them once and got a mercy, and it was really fun to use. I used the all-time team, but this theme team would still do really well with the boost from Sean Green. Padres are another stack team, including the pitching up and down the lineup and the rotation. Um, not a lot of depth in the bullpen is the only problem, but 
I'll start with them. You got Kirby Yates as the pitching captain, 25 pitching clutch, 20K per nine, and 25 hits per nine. Pretty much Josh Hader is your best pitcher in the bullpen, but you also have Trevor Hoffman um, and then Tim Hill. This Tom Cosgrove tops now. All right, and then some lower end guys down here. Uh, starting pitching, though, you got Jake Peavy, 99 overall finest. Joe Musgrove, no hitter card. Blake Snell, finest. Um, this monthly awards Michael Walker is actually not that bad. And then if you have the 99 milestone, you Darvish, obviously you put him there instead of this one. But you could swap him out for Nick Martinez if you don't have him. All right. The hitting captain is Xander Bogarts, and he's got 25 contact against lefties, 20 contact against righties, 15 play vision, and 10 power against righties. Really good boost. All right. The, the only deficiency is at catcher. You got Brett Sullivan, tops now, 92 overall, but everyone else is stacked. Manny Machado, 120 vision, max contact, 121 pop, and 108 pop. Great fielder at third base. Fernando Tatis at shortstop. His wheel is almost filled up completely. Um, pretty much max everything, but 101 vision. Tough swing to use, though, so make sure you get around early on those inside balls. Juan Soto. Another car that almost makes it max everything on the right side of the wheel. So 125 everything, 122 vision is basically max. So it's pretty stacked. Steve Finley, I love this card. Too bad it came out so late, but he is a Padre in this uh, 96 finest card. Almost max everything, but 100 vision or 100 power against lefties. But he does have 125 vision, which is really nice. Tony Gwynn, uh, max contact, max vision, 97 pop and 92 pop. Hassan Kim at second base, 122 contact, 125 contact, 104 pop, 117 pop, and 116 vision. And then Jake Cronenworth at first base. I like this card a lot. Um, struggles against the lefties, but he's still got a good swing, so it doesn't matter. And he's got max contact. Um, 92 pop against lefties, but max everything else. Okay. On the bench, you got Greg Vaughn, Will Myers, CJ Abrams and Trent Grisham that we worked so hard for in that Mexico City's program. Um, in the Mexico City series program, but that's that's pretty much all you got on the bench. And last but not least, the San Francisco Giants have another one of these all 125 cards in Willie Mays. So look at his wheel. The entire right side is 125, which is really cool to see. Um He's got a standing over the plate type of stance, but he's still a good card. Max fielding, 86 speed. Uh, it's unfortunate that he doesn't have the steel threat. I don't know why they wouldn't give that to him. I think he's still over 300 bases in his career, so kind of dumb that he doesn't have good stealing ability, but still a good card. I mean, you can't beat 125 everything around the wheel. All right. Yaz in right field is still pretty good. Max contact. And max power against righties, 108 power against lefties, 102 vision. Brandon Belt at first base. Um, if you don't want him there, I would keep him there, but you can do Michael Conforto in left and put Wilma Flores at first if you want it. Uh, I don't know. Thyra Estrado at second base. I like this card. Brandon Crawford um, is the team affinity collection from set four at shortstop. Wilmer Flores at third base with max contact and vision, and then Patrick Bailey at catcher. Uh, the boost is 25 contact against righties, 15 contact against lefties, 10 power against righties, and 20 plate vision for Monty Irvin. On the bench, you got Michael Conforto, um, Blake Sable, this Willie McCovey, and Casey Schmidt. Pitching's not bad. You got Logan Webb finest, Madison Bumgarner, MVP um, awards card. Matt Kane milestone card, and then Sean Manea and Vita Blue. In the bullpen, Brian Wilson is the captain. 25 pitching clutch, 25 hits per nine, and 20 K per nine. You got Camilo Duvall is a good card. Rob Nen is a card I really like a lot. Taylor Rogers, who I think it's either Taylor Rogers or Tyler Rogers that has a 99, or no, a 97 overall. That's uh, pretty good as well. Keaton Wynn, and that's about it. All right, so let me know who your favorite captain was outside of your team. Um, you know, if you have bias towards your favorite team, you know, let me know that too. But let me know what you think of SDS doing this in the late stages of MLB The Show 23. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty tapped out of this game right now. Um, I can't wait for 24 to come out, but I could use a little break from 23, it seems. Uh, like it's run a little bit dry or 
I could use a break before the new game. But let me know what you think, how you would rate these teams. Um, like I said, personally, my top five would be Braves, Rangers, um, Mariners. I'll put the Phillies in there somewhere. Uh, I forget who the last team was. Maybe the Dodgers. I don't know. But a lot of good teams here, a lot of good captains. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.